got Chris Brown here at uh, Interbike 2010, showcasing the 2011 Quintana Roo uh, bikes here. And what we're going to show you here is the uh, 2011 CD01 Ultegra model. And uh, as you can see, first off are the the bold graphics changes. You know, you know us as Quintana Roo, and a lot of customers know us as QR. So we wanted to really get bold this year and add QR a lot more onto the bike. So you're going to see that on our higher end CD01 uh, Aero bike. Uh, this bike is uh, one of the most prominent aspects of this bike is what we call shift technology and what we did was we spent a lot of time in the A2 wind tunnel and one of the biggest things about a uh, one of the biggest areas that causes drag on a bike is actually your front your front chain ring and so what we wanted to do is try to get wind away from your front chain ring because wind comes in hits your down tube and actually goes into your you know half of it going into your front chain ring which is like a wall for the wind to hit so what we did was we went into the tunnel, we were playing around with different fairings and different molded in aspects to try to get the wind away from your chain ring to create less drag. But the problem with that was it weighed a lot. It was, it was just goofy looking. So our designers went in, they played around more, started playing around with the angle of the seat, of the down tube. So what you can actually see, and you can see it through the front of the bike even, is the down tube is actually offset towards the drive side of the bike. You can actually see how it angles over and is 18 millimeters offset towards the drive side of the bike. And what that does is redirect about 80% of the wind to what we call the clean side of the bike and away from your front chain ring, thereby dramatically reducing the drag. And that's where actually the CD01 name comes from, is from the low coefficient of drag we were able to achieve in the wind tunnel. And that's not just achieved with I mean, it's achieved with that shift technology, but there's obviously a ton of other aero touches on the bike, all the way down to the bowed legs on the fork. We did that to create, to get the wind that comes through your front wheel. Aero wheels do a good job of cutting the wind up at the front, keeping the wind real close to your wheel, and getting it on through and reconnected on the back and away from the chain rings. So we didn't want to have a fork that's real close to the wind and creating drag, you know, that your front wheel is coming off of. So you bowed the fork to get the wind through. We've got hidden brake sets throughout the bike to get all the parts out of the wind. All the le trailing edges are incredibly smooth. The cables are routed inside the frame, all designed to create as little drag as possible in the wind so that you can go faster and more efficiently. Um, all the way down to the seat stays. You don't even have seat stays sticking out that are just bonded in and making contact to the wind. This, this seat tube's actually been bulged so that the wind can smoothly flow over your seat stays as opposed to a seat stay sticking out here that's just bonded in and causing drag. Uh, all this, we've also upgraded the, uh, the wheels on this bike this year to a Shimano RS30. We also have added an ISM Adamo saddle, which has been a very popular saddle. And we've also added an aero crank set this year as well, all for $3,100 on the CD01 Otegra.